Hello Forex Trader, this is Chris from Elite Currency with a continuation on the series of Fibonacci in Forex. This time a look on Fibonacci retracements, the magical world of discounts. The Fibonacci retracement levels are ratios which are based on and calculated on the Fibonacci sequence numbers. This is something we explained in the first part in the very first video. All the retracement levels have a value between 0 and 1, like for instance 0 0.382 or also known as the 38.2 Fib. It's also expressed sometimes in a percentage, like this 38.2%. All of that means the same. Basically, it's a 38.2% retracement. Now, the retracements themselves can be placed on the chart by using the Fibonacci tool, which is a great way of quickly visualizing the Fibonacci levels without doing much work. Here is an example of the euro dollar chart where I've placed the Fibonacci retracement tool already on the chart. You can see the magenta lines indicating the various Fibonacci retracement levels. All of these are an important level. Now, basically, when Adding the tool, uh, you just drag it from the chart here and you can place it from top to bottom to indicate the discount when price retraces. In this case, you can see price stopped at the 61.8. That is, in other words, the 0.61.8 or the 61.8%. Obviously, it saves a lot of time by using this tool because you don't have to calculate anything yourself and you can Look at other video that explains how to change these levels on MT4. The retracement levels that I use are the following. 23.6, 38.2, 50, 61.8, 78.6, and 88.6. Now the standard FIB numbers are 38.2, 50, and 61.8. These are always found when a trader uses Fibonacci. I have added a different fib, a higher one, two higher ones, and one lower one, the 23.6, to gain more uh, feeling for certain price movements and price bounces or breaks. The way of calculating is by using the Fibonacci sequence tools, except for the 50. The 50 is not a fib number, actually. It is just a halfway mark, but still used. The 78.6 is the square root of 61.8. And the 886 fib is the square root of 78.6 fib. So those are the ways uh, these numbers are calculated. Some traders do use the 0.146 and the 76.4. Personally, I do not use these fibs. I only use these six numbers. Now that we have discussed what Fibonacci retracement levels I use, let's discuss what they actually mean. How can we use these levels with real actual trading? So basically when there is a trend, when for, in for instance in this case the euro dollar is trending up and has reached a peak, you will see a retracement, right? Because price does not uh, move up forever and ever. There is a point where uh, the market corrects itself and you see a retracement. In that case, it's wise to place the FIB from bottom to top in an uptrend and price then corrects down to one of these FIBs after which the, the trend, the price, can continue to higher levels. In this case you can see when placing the FIB from this particular bottom to this top, price turned at the 50-ish 61.8. Price tends to roughly stop at these levels, sometimes it's very precise but it's more of a zone and you can see the continuation to higher levels. The reason why price stops at the 50 or 61.8 FIB is because of the fact that traders get a discount. When they recognize the momentum here going up, traders speculate on the fact that perhaps at the halfway mark or at the 61.8, price can continue with that momentum and trend because it's a great discount compared to the top. Where would you rather buy? Obviously here is better than at the top because you're saving a lot. Shoppers, of course, love this 50% discount, but in Forex trading, the traders can capitalize on discounts as well. And that is also partly why they 
work because the market psychology behind these fibs is something of a dynamic that is always used and traders are behind the market traders are are the ones the trader psychology that are influencing the entire market psychology so from that point of view the discount the pullback will always be respected by the market if of course the Fibonacci level is used and placed properly so from this point of view uh, you get a nice continuation and you can see they not only work on this swing high swing low but if we use this entire up move look at that price nicely stopping at the 61.8 and the 38.2 for a bounce well the bounce of course at the 61.8 was far larger there are three important warnings I should add and these will be explained further in uh, you know videos that are going to be released one of those three warnings is the fact that a trend should be present without a trend a Fibonacci tool could be very hazardous and dangerous because the Fibonacci levels will not be respected the Fib tool works the best when there is a trend because then the discounts are valuable point two the Fibonacci retracement tool must be drawn correctly otherwise the levels will not be respected by the market and point three some fibs will be respected but not all of them necessarily uh, even if you draw the fib tool correctly about two on average two out of three times the Fibonacci level will be highly respected but definitely a third of the times not and that's just the way the market works there's nothing wrong with that fib it's just that not all fibs will tend will be respected sometimes price does make a momentum and pushes through a fib level so to recap trend is present drawing the fib correctly is important and not all fibs will be respected let's now talk about shallow and deep Fibonacci levels here is the summary what I consider shallow medium or a deep Fibonacci retracement level zero obviously is top or bottom hundred is also top or bottom but I consider 23.6 and the 38.2 to be shallow fib levels that means the retracement has not gone deep and medium somewhere between the 50 to 61.8 and a deep retracement level that means that price has gone very far against the previous trend R78.6 and the 88.6 that wraps up this video thank you for joining in the next video Fibonacci targets why they work and what is a good fit placement join us in our community at Elite Currency through Twitter Facebook and YouTube and get a free book ebook on Fibonacci thanks and good trading cheers